Okay, so we're at Apollon Gym, Edison, New Jersey. This was my first gym that I started at back in 2007. Um, this is my hometown. I no longer live here, but my parents are here. Uh, so what more fitting than to come back to my original stomping ground, you know, with the dream of having a pro card, you know, and, uh, 13, uh, 14 years later, still with the dream and to finish up our last workout here uh, today, we're heading out to the MPC USA's in Phoenix, Arizona. Flight goes out uh, later today. Um, so it was very convenient to come down here into a place that I was comfortable with and uh, finish off you know, with a shoulder workout. I am fully confident that this is not only my best, but my all time best by like leaps and bounds, maybe two to three times the amount. So with that, I'm very confident and collected. Um, I feel like I've won already, not won the show. I don't know who's gonna be there. I can't control who's gonna be. I can't control what the judges are gonna do. What I can control is that there's no, nothing more that I could have done. And we have the pictures to prove it that I looked this way and that makes me very happy. So placings mean nothing. They've never meant anything to me. That's just a talent show of a subjective opinion of a bunch of strangers on what they think of me. I've never seen him this confident as much as I am this confident in this show. Um, I, he knows I'm gonna be the one to say, I'm like, I don't know if this is it, but since he's trained this far, like for this competition, I really, 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 hands down, I've, I've never seen him look this great. And I, I'm really confident that he's gonna succeed very far in the competition. And I'm just, I'm really proud of him. I implemented a progressive overload type training where I kept a log book. I've actually just started my third log book where I've logged every rep, every set, and every exercise for every workout that I've done. I never used to do that. In fact, I used to make fun of those guys because I used to think that they were like nerds, like, you know, with their little pens and everything. And now I'm that guy. But what I could do is I could control volume. I know which reps I need to hit, you know, whether it be in the off season to beat that log book, to outperform, you know, performance drives everything. I never used to be that guy in the past. I used to just go to the gym, aimlessly do a ton of volume. Oh, this feels good. This, I'm really pumped up. I'm tired, let's leave the gym. And that might be work for like a noob, but it wasn't as efficient as I could be. And it really put the density of my muscles and it actually factored in recovery, especially at the end of prep, so that I didn't burn out where I it was just doing meathead things, you know, thinking that just because I could make it through a very long and arduous workout, that that was the best way to do it. And that's just not true. There was a lot of, uh, my buddy, uh, animal employee, uh, Joe Percher, turned me on to this sort of behavior uh, and training style. And he always said, do you want to be the best that you can be or do you want to just be do meathead shit and leave it all on the, the gym floor? And it, le it required a level of maturity to be able to know when to pull back know when to not tough it out. And um, I think that, that this was the perfect time for me to do that because in years past, maybe I wouldn't have listened to it. All right, guys, uh, I gotta eat. I gotta head to the airport. We're on our way right now. And uh, that's it for the uh, USA Prep. And we'll give it our best shot.